What's up, Throttle family? Back here for another episode of Working on Cars with Mickey and Ricky. You guys can see I've got my EG here today. We'll go ahead and show that to you guys. Um, we've thrown it up on the lift. And as I mentioned in a previous video, I've got some parts that I want to install on this today. We've got a Griffin radiator. We've got all new water hoses, silicone, and we've got a overflow can. We're gonna do an oil change with the K&N filter and some synthetic oils. And, oh, and I got this cool little JDM magnetic drain plug from Jay's Racing, which matches my Jay's Racing spoiler. So, at any rate, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, I do want to paint the top tank of the radiator. This is an aluminum radiator. I wanna paint it black so it doesn't stand out as much. I don't like the idea of it looking not stock. Uh, right now, I currently have a, this is the OEM radiator with a Mugen radiator cap, which is kind of for hot boy points, really. We do have a Flexalite slim fan on here, as you can see. Uh, and it does open up a lot of room here. We're gonna be getting rid of my old hockey water bottle that is currently my overflow. You can have an engine bay like this with a, with a water bottle in it. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on uh, removing this stuff, draining the fluids, and getting the flush and fill a new radiator. All right, boys and girls, just got uh, the, all the radiator hoses back in the car. Uh, I'm not sure how much you can actually see in there, but all the shiny stuff is new. Uh, this is our big hole for our radiator, which we'll be putting in in a moment. But uh, I've got Big Jeff on the job over here. We went ahead and we're trying to make the radiator look as stock as possible, even though it's aftermarket. So here's what the old radiator looks like. It has a... Um, as you can see, it's a Honda radiator. Uh, it has a, a black plastic end tank on either side and then an aluminum core. So what I'm trying to do with the aluminum radiator that we have, the Griffin aftermarket part that we sourced through throttle, um, we've gone ahead and actually taped it off. And we're actually shooting the, um, the top end tank in a satin black finish. It's a little glossy right now because it's still wet. Um, and we're gonna leave the bottom tank aluminum because you do not see that when it's in the engine bay, so it's, it's out of sight, out of mind. Um, but we are doing the top tank because I want it to look as though it's a stock core. When you open up the hood, you really have to look for it to see that it's been changed. That's the whole idea behind the way I built this car. I want everything to look OEM or OEM plus. So this is an upgrade and I think it's a great upgrade for these cars. Um, it's always good to have a good in, uh, it's always good to have a good radiator in your car so this is a no-brainer for me plus I had the parts sitting around from uh, a couple years ago when we first started throttle and I ordered it so I'm very happy to be putting it to use and I'm, I'm super excited to see how it actually turns out once it's back in the bay so we're gonna wait for this paint to dry then we'll install the upper and lower radiator hoses for the radiator and the engine uh, sides and get this back in with the fan assembly on it in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick oil change on the car while I have it on the rack. Might as well. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use full synthetic fluids. This car does a lot of sitting, so I am going to add a quart of Lucas oil stabilizer, which helps the oil sort of adhere to the, um, to the pistons and the internals. Um, yeah, so that's not an ad. I don't get paid to use their stuff, but uh, we use the Lucas oil stabilizers in all the Falcon drift cars for many years and had very good success with it. So I've sort of adopted it in all of my oil changes. I use one quart of Lucas oil stabilizer and the rest regular synthetic oil and I've had good luck with it. So we're gonna go ahead and do that on my car now. I'm also gonna install the Jay's Racing uh, magnetic drain plug. I already have a magnetic drain plug in there, but we're doing the change. Might as well go with the hot boy parts. Looks pretty good. You can still see the little Griffin stamp in the top, which is cool. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the, uh, the mask tape that we put on here to keep the black paint off of the rest of the radiator. It is gonna not be that shiny. It's still um, what I found out with the same paint I used on the engine bay of my RX-7 that once it fully cures, it actually dulls down a little bit and I'm hoping that happens. 
However, it is mostly dry, so we'll see. Anyway, we're gonna keep moving forward with this thing. Ooh, bad one. And uh, I'm gonna continue doing the oil change. Gone ahead and got the oil drained and uh, trying to get this area cleaned up. As you guys, well, if you guys work on Hondas ever, you know the oil filter is right there. That's, there's no filter in place, but that's where it goes. And it's a real lousy place for an oil filter because when you pull the filter out, it drips down on the back of the engine. So I've gone ahead and uh, used some brake parts cleaner and a rag and wiped all that out. We'll go ahead and get the new filter put in place. We did choose, uh, as always, the K&N, which to me is the gold standard of oil filters. I use them on all my cars. So um, shout out to the boys at K&N for making a good product. I'm gonna go ahead and get this in, put the oil, the magnetic Jay's Racing magnetic drain plug back in, and uh, we'll start putting some fluids back in the top. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and snap this K&N filter in. I've gone ahead and put a little bit of oil on the, um, the seal here. Just kind of helps it from binding and, and whatnot and uh, potentially locking in over a few heat cycles. Uh, I like to actually get a marker and make note of the mileage before I do this because once I put the filter, I wanna write the mileage that the car is currently at on here, which is 102,339 kilometers. So I'm gonna write that on here. I'm also gonna write the date on here. This car sits a lot and I forget a lot of time when I did the last oil change. So this helps me remember. All right, so a couple hours has gone by. We went ahead and got the uh, radiator in and the overflow on. We've got the, um, we've actually got the overflow in a new location. And that location is in front of the front wheel up inside the, uh, up inside the opening here. What we've done is we run a dash six AN line up and it goes up to the radiator at the top. So I'll show you guys that in a second. So as I was saying, we've moved the bottle, the overflow bottle down into the uh, location here. You can see the hose right there. And the, I've routed the dash six line up through here and it'll get zip tied against the uh, fan shroud like so. And then out to here, we've got a little worm gear clamp on here. Don't love those, but it'll do for now. Um, and then this will look super tidy like that. Once I get my billet, Radiator stay back from JSP fab and the billet uh, AC condenser holders back. That'll look pretty sick too. So this is really coming around. I like the way it's going. Uh, definitely a nice cleanup project for this car. And uh, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and dump the uh, four quarts of oil in it. We've got our new filter in, and um, we should be good to go. So this is just a quick little refresh of the car for today. I don't get this car out enough, and it's nice to have the time to actually install the parts that I've been collecting over the last uh, year or so. So I'm gonna sign off today. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for subscribing to our channel. Thanks for liking our videos. Thanks for everything. We appreciate you Throttle family. We'll see you in the next installment. Peace out. Hey, what's up guys? Just wanted to give you guys a quick reminder that there is less than nine days left to get entered to win our Subaru WRX. So you guys have seen the project. I will put a playlist link up above. We basically took this thing from stock to where it is today. It's got some really awesome, rare parts on it, guys. If you're interested in finding out how to win this thing, check out the link in the description. Once again, nine days left. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you.